Hi, I'm Kim from the Ultraflex Academy of Dance and I am putting together this video just to reassure you that we are taking all of the steps necessary in order to make sure we get back to a very safe and very quick and easy return to classes this September. We're super excited to get back to classes, but we do really want to emphasize on the amount of work that is going on behind the scenes to make sure we have everything put in place to make this really, really safe and to reassure you as parents that we are taking this extremely serious and that we want to make sure that everybody feeling safe and secure as they return. So let me explain to you a few things that we have been doing. So the first thing would be our policies and procedures. You'll find them in on the Class for Kids system and you'll also find them on our website. So everybody on our team will have taken part in the COVID-19 training to prevent infectious diseases being spread and viruses so it's important that you understand we have all gone through this training online and we all have our certificate to say we have passed this assessment and we will continue to go with the governing bodies and the health authorities to make sure that we are up to date on any changes that need to be made we have taken on our risk assessment and that will be for every location individually. It will be assessed based on the area, the ventilation, the cleaning process of the studios, the cleaning process that the teachers are undertaking in every class. So that's basically a combination of all of those. The risk assessment has been made. The teacher will complete a risk assessment at the beginning of their class and the risk assessment is going to look something like this. Where the teacher will tick off the boxes before the class begins. During the interval in the class, before we start the next class, we will do a clean down and sterilize all of the door handles, um, anything that has been touched within the class we have now allocated a 15 minute gap between each class so that every class can come in and enter and exit freely and gives us time to do our clean in between each classes as well. In every class, we will have a hygiene station outside the door before you enter. And we will also have a hygiene station in the class for during class times. These hygiene stations are set up for you to come in and use nice and quickly and efficiently and move into your places. When it comes to props, we will only be using one set of props per venue, per class. So what will happen is after they're used, they will be put into a bag and they will be sterilized. The number of students per class will depend on the risk assessment based on the area that we have to cover, allowing social distancing. Social distancing will be very important within our classes. Every student will have a marked area where they can dance. We will be using it across the floor. Again, we will be also keeping our social distancing there. However, during the class, we will have our hygiene areas where you can go and we will be encouraging the kids to sanitize their hands throughout the class when we move from section to section. All of our classes will be pre-booked so we won't have the numbers going over we will keep very much to the numbers that are booked within the class this is also very important for contact tracing and it's also very important so that everybody attending a class understands their responsibility to let us know and inform us if anybody in their household is after getting COVID-19 or if there's any circumstances that change also it's important that they understand if they feel unwell at all that they must stay at home. We will have a first aid area and an area for any student that may present symptoms or feel unwell during the class. And when you are being assessed in that area, your teacher will be using gloves. We will also have a shield on, which is what we're going to be wearing throughout the class. This shield will be used during the whole class but if we are to assess anybody we will be using gloves at the time when the gloves come off we will sterilize our hands and make sure that we have used the proper hygiene and procedures 
when students arrive into the class, your teacher will greet you at the door. Now your teacher will be wearing a little clear shield so they can see you clearly and you can see them and you'll be able to see their face and their eyes and everything. And we're going to greet you at the door and we're going to bring you in to where you're going to go to a little space. That when you come into the room, you're going to be able to put your water bottle and keeping your items to, the, to a minimum, you'll be able to put them on into an allocated place that would be there for you. You'll pop your stuff there and you'll go straight into your place to get ready for your class. Here you'll wait with your legs crossed, seated on the floor, seated on the floor like we always do. Once everybody has arrived, we'll get ready to begin our class. The class structure will be in our five sections where we will be in our place. When it comes to our cross the floor work, the cones will be removed and we will easily guide you into your cross the floor. When we finish our class, it's really important that everybody picks up their belongings and they come into a nice line where we keep our social distance and then what's going to happen is we're going to open the doors and we're going to let our students out one by one connecting the parent to the student where the parents on the outside will also be using the social distance rule and we will just come forwards and file out accordingly we will have that 15 minutes in between so we don't have to rush so please Try not to arrive too soon before your class where you're going to take up that time of the other students leaving. There's quite a lot to take in there, so please don't be worried about remembering everything. We will have a do's and don'ts list and we're going to be popping that up outside the studio. Inside the studio, the teachers will have it on their clipboard. I'm also going to be emailing it to you so that you will understand exactly what we need to do in order to get back into the classes nice and safely and as quick as possible. I hope this video has been helpful for you. However, if you have any questions or any concerns at all, please do get in touch and I will be happy to go through it with you.